my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name's Tiffany and I'm chronicling my weight loss slash fitness slash health journey. So I hope you'll stick around and uh, watch my review for week 11 on Manjaro. So before we jump into the week 11 review, I just wanted to uh, say I'm sorry for the delay in this video. If you're unaware, Texas had a winter slash ice storm, and so my kids were home for the better part of a week, and um, it's just really hard to film anything when they're home because uh, quiet does not exist, uh, but it's all good. It's getting warmer here, the ice has melted, and we're getting back to normal. All right, so getting into week 11 on Manjaro, I injected into my left thigh at room temperature as I've been doing. Um, for me, injecting into the thigh stings a tiny bit, but it is no worse than getting any kind of like shot or vaccine or whatever. The stomach tends to be a little less painful. I, painful is not even the right word because it doesn't really hurt. Um, I just don't feel it when I inject into my stomach. However, when I switched to five milligram, I started having some GI issues and injecting into the thigh has definitely, uh, helped subdue them. So speaking of side effects, my side effects again this week were very mild. Um, I had a little bit of bloating, which I mean, is nothing in comparison to what it was that first week on five milligrams. Um, I am, or I have been <laughs> burpy, um, but not like the sulfur burps that some people say that they get. I mean, it's just regular, very loud, but <laughs> regular burps. Um, so aside from that and the Manjaro cold. Now I did not experience the coldness on 2.5 and it actually has been probably like the last week or so two weeks maybe because uh, it definitely started before Texas got colder um, I'm just always cold like I can't get warm and it's specifically or I guess more so in my feet like my feet are never warm if I do happen to get my body warm my feet are still <laughs> blocks of ice um, and I've seen a lot of people reporting that that is a common side effect uh, so Texas getting cold did not help that symptom, but it is what it is. I'll take it. So my nutrition, again, I've really been craving like oatmeal and salads. So that's what I've been eating a lot of. Um, not a whole lot to report. I am still trying to prioritize protein. So I've been eating protes um, and uh, veggies, which the salads are kind of taking care of, like getting my veggies in. But yeah, aside from that, nothing really to report. So my physical activity this week was very minimal. On Saturday, we took our children to a park here in our hometown. In this park, there is a hiking trail. And I'm using the term hiking trail loosely because I mean, while there's like loose rocks, it's not like steep incline or anything crazy. Anyways, uh, my oldest daughter really wanted to go on the trail and while I was wearing tennis shoes they are definitely more for fashion and they are not appropriate for hiking but she was very adamant and so I said fine and for whatever reason I decided that I should go first down the trail anyways my foot hit a slick rock and both my feet came out <laughs> from underneath me and I landed on my sacrum and a rock hit like in the middle of my back um, it's kind of comical now thinking back on it. It was not comical in the moment. I was not very pleased. Needless to say, I quickly got off of the hiking trail and <clears throat> we left the park shortly after that. So anyways, my back was kind of bruised and tight after that. I assure you now that I'm fine. It was, it is what it is. But, um, so I just did some stretching to kind of alleviate the tightness, but 
because my back felt so bruised and so tender I just didn't really want to push it like I don't want to play around with back injuries and let me say it's definitely not an injury it was definitely just bruised and sore but it is what it is I got some stretching in and all right and for the weight loss so this week I ended up losing four pounds I think what happened was um so two weeks ago I had gained eight tenths of a pound and then the following week last week I had lost 1.8 pounds. So I think what happened was because I had all of the bloat those first two weeks of starting the five milligram Manjaro that my body finally kind of leveled out now that I can feel like a normal human being. Um, and so I think it all just leveled out and that's why that there was kind of like an increase to like my average because I have been typically losing anywhere from like half a pound to like one 1.5 pounds at most um I think the most I've lost in a week was three pounds prior and that was in the very beginning and it was probably a lot of bloat too um so that put me at 15.4 pounds total loss since November 11th of last year 2022 so pretty proud of that um and for those of you who are interested in the inches, I will pop it up on the screen. Um, I did lose three inches this week. And uh, as you know, I have started uh, putting little yellow dots by the areas of which I lost weight or not weight. Well, I guess weight, but inches. <laughs> Um, so I lost three inches and that put me at a total of 23 and three quarters inches. And I don't think that I've really talked about non-scale victories, um, in any of these videos. I don't even know prior to this if anything really significant have popped up, but I did want to add in, I'm super excited. Um, I was able to comfortably wear two different pairs of leggings that I had previously outgrown. Um, they're still like the same size. I typically wear like a large in leggings. So they're still a size large, but they were kind of on the smaller side. And um, when I first started the Manjaro, I definitely probably could have sized up to an extra large, but the economy. <laughs> Anyways, so I I was able to wear those and, you know, that was just super exciting that, you know, I'm comfortably fitting into things that I had outgrown. All right, y'all. I think that's all that I have for y'all today. I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you are enjoying following along with my journey. I would love to know how you're doing on your own personal journey. So go ahead and like comment let me know what's going on with you down below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more until next time bye